Hey, any of you like Sonic? Analytics indicate that you do. Anyways, growing up I played a ton of Sonic and I've always wondered what the original Sonic games would have looked like if they were in 3D instead of 2D. Luckily, I've got me covered. So I think we're off to a good start here. You can tell this is Sonic because it's blue. Ta-da! Here's our player for now. I know he looks a little different than you might expect, but let me explain. I have an idea on how to easily add the grassy overhangs to blocks, and I'd really like to try that first before creating Sonic. Also because that part is hard. About an hour later, and I am able to have shadows on the grass but no transparency, or transparency but with no shadows. And honestly, if that doesn't summarize coding, then I don't know what will. Finally, after some really janky math, grass overhangs can be added automatically to the blocks. This is great for two reasons. One, I don't have to do it manually, and two, because it looks awesome. Now let's actually work on replacing Ball Sonic. I found a model of Sonic Online and imported him into Unity. You don't see him? He's right here. The next step is to create fast, Sonic-like movement. Honestly, Sega, this is my resume right here. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. He's still not perfect, but I think once Sonic has all his animations, I'll really be able to judge it. He still feels a little sluggish without them. Update, so I added a very simple follow camera and it turns out he's not sluggish, but actually very hard to control. I'm really surprised by how different the game feels when the camera actually follows Sonic. After a very frustrating, too long time, we have some water. Fun fact, it's actually two separate layers because I just couldn't combine the shaders together. So yeah, I hate shaders. Finally, I finished the motobug's behavior. I'm not really sure why it took me so long to make a bug spin in a circle, but uh, it works. I'll take what I can get. Now have you ever wondered what it would look like to lose 999 rings all at once? Let's hit the motobug here. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's do more. <laughs> Bad idea. Check it out. Enemy number two is done. Not much to say here. It's a crab. I'll animate him later. Sticking with the trend of enemies, the next thing I worked on was the checkpoint system. I had a hard time interpreting this into 3D, but I think this looks pretty good. What are these things supposed to even be? Anyways, bridges. Yay. I can't make Chomper without them. Just like the 2D games, Chomper will jump out of the water over the bridge. Wait, I have been informed that there's no M in the name. It's Chopper, as in... Run! Go! Get to the Chopper! So the choppers are finally done. I'm super happy with how they turned out in 3D. Unfortunately, poor shader coding resulted on this hard edge of the waterfall, but we're just not going to talk about that. So stop showing it! Jeez! It now has been about a month since I last worked on this project. I was feeling discouraged since I hated the camera, the way Sonic controlled, and the graphics. <laughs> Basically all of it. So naturally, I switched projects and made a Pac-Man game. But unfortunately, at some point you can't run from your problems. So now I've cleaned it all up. Now I have better textures, better looking water, a better camera system, And finally, I added the spin dash to Sonic's abilities. 
I am much happier with how the game is coming out now. I worked on creating the buzzer enemy. Like the others, he's still pretty stiff, but I really like how he turned out. He can be set to wander in a specific area and will fire at Sonic if he's in range. Hey, so I've been working pretty hard on my 3D Sonic video, and I needed a break. And by break, I really mean make a completely new project. I finally returned to work on Sonic again after another two month long hiatus. When did I say I started this project again? June? Oh my god. Look, all I can say is that there is a reason the channel is now called Distracted Coder. Anyways, it's time to make a bonus level. This is something I have wanted to do since the beginning, but I was never inspired by the typical Sonic bonus stages. Both the half pipe and orb collecting levels are already technically in 3D and therefore not very unique to make in actual 3D. So instead, we're making it more like an arcade shoot 'em up. Yeah, so it turns out I can't simply use perspective to convey depth, at least not for shooting. Visually, it feels like I should be able to hit here, but because the rings are shooting straight forward, they appear to miss. Alright, there we go. I can now cover the entire platform by adding spread the more left or right you are on the screen. Will it make hitting things in the distance harder? I don't know, maybe. And finally, I finished up the bonus game. Hopefully, it doesn't lag, because I mean, look at it. But at the same point, look at it! It's awesome! The next thing to work on was the goal sign. I found a lovely model on Sketchfab and made it spin, and I think that's it. Easy peasy. And that's awesome, because that's basically everything for the level. Now it's boss fight time. <laughs> and hopefully I won't regret saying that. <laughs> look at the tiny little man. This isn't any threat to Sonic. You might notice that Eggman here is asserting his tiny dominance, which is unfortunate, because that means I have to fix it. God, I really hate working in Blender. So besides that problem, the fight turned out okay. It's a little easier than I would have liked, but it'll be fine. Alright, game's done. Finally! I'm tired and I am out of things to say. The game is playable over at itch.io. A link will be in the description. If you want me to continue making this game, you know what to do. That's all I got for today. Enjoy the gameplay and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!